Then, once you know the line on the inside of the leg, you can work it with any tool. Feet, knees, ankles, not ankles, well, I mean, I guess ankle, you could, but uh, anything you can figure out physically, you know, feet, knees, elbows, forearms, you can work that line. You can also work that line from any position that you want. So don't get overly concerned about the table. The table in some ways is actually going to be much more dynamic than this class because you already know how to use your body there. I'm just going to like, so, okay, here's the way it works. This class, we go through the sequence page by page. I will give you a copy of the table tie workbook and we will probably never open it. It's all there. But what I do with the table class is I go, okay, we've got tables set up. What do you want to work on? And you say upper back and neck. And I'm like, lay on your side. And I'm going to give you 15, 30 minutes and then we'll riff on that. And then give you 15, 30 minutes and we'll riff on that. And you're like, okay, like low back pain. Okay, change position. Because what I'm doing is I'm giving you a little piece to add to your table session. So sometimes you're going to offer a full session of time massage. You decide to put on your menu of services. In some instances, what Michael is going to want you to do, maybe you add it to the menu of services, but how do you transition the clients to the mat? Table tie. You, you blend pieces and they go, whoa, what was that thing? And you're like, oh, that's some time massage we did. If you really like that, I have even more options if you get a mat session. Got to transition them. The reason I started teaching the table tie class that way is that I didn't think it was as important to give like a full sequence. You already have a sequence on a table. It's called Swedish and deep tissue. You needed some additional techniques you could throw into your sessions to save your body, kind of change up the body mechanics. I will never penalize you for going off road. So long as we stay with the basic sequence, like Michael's over here doing like traction, he's like leaning into the thigh line, tractioning the, I'm like, yes, <laughs> yes. Like, get up, I'm, he's working on me now. <laughs> nice. So if you did this exact same thing on a table, but you let your legs hang off the side of the table, how does the client feel? Clothes. You tell me, both. Uh, more comfortable clothes. Still, I could, I could, depending on the client, I could do it with shoes. Yeah, but you've worked a long time. You've developed a certain level of comfort. Yeah, no, no problem. Just changing from the table to the mat, just different cultural considerations to think about. That's all. I don't have any problem being just... I don't know. I mean, I think after 15 years, I've just worked on so many different people, different walks of life. Like, um, students would comment on the fact that the work was so physically intimate. And I'd go, you work on naked people. How is this more intimate? And they're like, man, you make so much body contact with the client. Uh, I, I agree with that. And I went, oh. Yeah, I'm doing this. Oh, this okay. No, 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 okay. No, 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 you got a point. This, That's true. I do make more body contact than people are like used to. Mm -hmm.